I want the deals. You can't handle the deals. Son, we live in a world that has walls, and those walls have to be guarded by men with guns. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another eShop Deals video, where each and every week we go through the Nintendo Switch eShop and we pick out some of the best games currently on sale. And yet again this week, we've got some really great deals and some brand new lows. But just before we jump into those, a quick reminder, just in case you're new here to the channel, about halfway through the video, I'll be giving away two $5 eShop gift cards. If you want to participate in those giveaways, all you need to do is be subscribed to the channel and drop a comment down below, then check out the next video to see if you won. Also, if you reach the end of the video and you're still looking for other great deals, I'll always be linking down below last week's video as well as the latest under $5, because those deals are mostly all still running and I just don't repeat them two videos in a row. Now with all of that stuff out of the way, let's not waste any more time and jump straight in. Just remember, if you are liking the content, one of the best ways to help support Support the channel hit that like button so our first great deal for this week is going to be divinity original sin 2 the definitive edition that has now hit a brand new low of 50 percent off dropping it to 24.99 and will be running till august 15th now this was actually a game i picked up myself on this sale the reason I was waiting to pick it up is I originally played this game on PC when it released, and it wasn't really hitting a price point where I felt comfortable doing a double dip on the Switch. However, now at 50% off for such a huge strategy turn-based RPG, I finally feel comfortable dropping that extra money. Now, obviously, I haven't had time to play much of the game yet, but I picked it up more as a performance check for the Switch, because as I said earlier, I already know that both story-wise and world-building, this is an amazing experience. And I've got to say that the Switch version of the game holds up very well, whether you're playing docked or handheld. Now, graphically, it's not the best version. There are a few frame drops here and there, but as I said earlier, this being a tactical turn-based RPG, it's not really going to affect your gameplay. And the portability of it on the Switch is going to probably be a huge deciding factor for many, which is a trade-off I will gladly make since this is a game that you might have to pour more than 100 hours into. Overall, if you're looking for that huge all-encompassing RPG for this week, this is probably going to be one of your best choices. Now our next great deal for today is actually a brand new one to the series and that is Wildcat Gun Machine that is now 47% off, dropping its price to $7.99 and will be running till August 26th. Now this game is a top-down twin-stick shooter that has an awesome art style that actually reminds me a tiny bit of Hades. However, this time around we're not talking about a procedurally generated dungeon crawler, this one rather has a fixed level design. Now this is definitely a game that puts action at the forefront with tons of different weapons to choose from, and also a special ability once unlocked will let you go crazy and just mow through your enemies. Now the top points of this game is definitely the art style, the music, and also some pretty fantastic boss fights. Where I was a little bit let down, however, is they really didn't inject any storyline and it just really seemed like a missed opportunity because this game was really asking for it. Which is why I was really waiting for a good sale to start recommending this game, which is why now at $7.99, if you're into the twin stick genre, it's definitely worth a pickup. Now next we have a returning classic that is back on sale and that is Dead Cells. It is back to 40% off, dropping its price to $14.99 and this one will be running till August 16th. Now if you don't already know, this game is a 2D action roguelite with some sprinkles of Metroidvania-like elements. And I would definitely say that if you're a fan of the roguelite genre and you haven't tried this one yet, it is definitely one of the top entries currently on the Nintendo Switch. Now just as usual, I do want to give that warning, this is a fairly difficult game that has a very steep learning curve at the beginning, however if you put the time into it, it is definitely very rewarding. On top of it, this is a game that once you're done with the base version, there's a ton of DLC available, some of it free, some of it paid. However, if you're looking for a huge experience that could actually keep you going for months, Dead Cells is definitely a good choice. This is pretty much a game that every time it's on sale, it's going to be a great pickup. Now, our next game for today will be Gunborg Dark Matters that is now at a brand new low of 40% off, dropping its price to only $8.99, and this one will be running all the way till August 25th. Now this game is a 2D action platformer that has a very original control design that feels like halfway between a twin stick shooter. Now the overall gameplay does feel a lot 
like something inspired from Mega Man. Now the overall gameplay reference that I would give here is like something from the Mega Man Zero series, although with a more linear setup to its levels. It's also a game that probably a lot of you will find very challenging, especially at the beginning before you get that control scheme down. However, once you do get it down and really make it your own, you realize that you can pull off some pretty fantastic maneuvers because of that original setup. And probably the most original mechanic of the whole gameplay is you'll constantly be swapping weapons because you basically get to pick up pretty much every weapon the enemy can drop. Overall, if you're looking for a nice and challenging action platformer for this week, Gunborg is going to be a great choice. So now it's time to take a quick break and announce today's winners of the $5 eShop gift cards. And our first winner for today is going to be Chino305, who said, I'm 100% getting Kingdom 2 crowns, it's right up my alley. If you're into strategy management, Chino, I think you made a great choice and I really hope you're having tons of fun with the game. And our second winner for today is going to be Matt Lane, who said, Nice video, just got my first Switch and love all the sales. Well, congrats on getting your first Switch, Matt, and I'm glad these videos are helping you keep up with all the sales. Now, all you need to do to claim your $5 eShop gift cards is reach out to me in my pinned comment down below. So now if we jump right back into our deals, our next one is a game that's at a brand new low, and that is The Company Man, that is now 25% off, dropping its price to only $14.99, and will be running till August 22nd. Now this game is a 2D action platformer, where you literally have to fight your way up the corporate ladder. First of all, this is actually a game I played on stream, and I'll be linking that down below in case you want to check it out. Now this game really does have a wacky setup, and you're going to be doing some pretty crazy things, like using your keyboard as a sword, or your emails as ammunition for a cannon, but this insane setup is actually one of the main attractions of the game. And although satirical, it brings it all together pretty perfectly. This game offers pretty much everything you need for a good action platformer, tight responsive controls, a beautiful visual design, and on top of it, a pretty great soundtrack. The only negative thing I have to say about this game is some people found it on the short side, where most people will probably be finishing it in about four to five hours. However, I've got to say that those four to five hours ended up being a great experience, and if you need any more convincing for yourself, there's also a free downloadable demo. Now, our next great game is going to be Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2 that is now back to its lowest ever price of $7.49. However, you will have to move quickly because this is finishing on August 13th and this will be my pick of the week. Now, this game is a 2D action platformer with a truly fantastic retro look to it. And to many, this is like a direct spiritual successor to the Castlevania series from the NES days. And it even borrows a lot of great mechanics from that third entry, like the ability to switch between playable characters at the push of a button. Now I know a lot of people are waiting for Konami to bring back Castlevania to its former glory days, but if you haven't tried the Bloodstained series yet, you are missing out. Now just as a side note, the first game is also currently on sale at $4.99 and will be featured in this week's under $5 list, but if you're looking to pick up both entries, right now is pretty much a great time. Now our next great deal for today will be on Shirin the Wanderer, the Tower of Fortune and the Dice of Fate that is back to 30% off, $13.99 and will be running till August 18th. Now this game is a roguelite dungeon crawler with a turn-based RPG design. However, not done in your standard presentation, rather where your character moves on a grid and every time you make a move, your enemies can do so as well. Now in this game, you'll be trying to make your way up the Tower of Fortune to ultimately control your destiny. Although that might seem simple enough, trust me, it isn't so. And as you make your way up the tower, if you push it too far, too quick, and meet your demise, unfortunately you'll have to start back from scratch, losing all your inventory and starting back at level 1. Now this game is all about balancing and making your way as far as you can and bringing back as much loot as possible to store in the city down below. In between each run you'll also be progressing the main storyline, speaking with different individuals and basically growing your inventory. It's a very simple and addictive gameplay loop, yet at the same time offers quite a bit of depth once you get further in the game. Now, I enjoyed this game quite a bit and it reminded me of a PS1 classic that I used to play all the time called Azure Dreams. And for any of you that know that classic, it almost feels like this game is a spiritual successor. Overall, if you're looking for a great roguelite game, however with a turn-based design, 
I don't think you'll be disappointed in Sharon the Wanderer. Now our next game is going to be a really special pick and that is the House of the Dead remake that is back to 20% off its lowest ever price of $19.99 and will be running till August 25th. On top of it, it's such a great nostalgic game, I even double dipped and picked up a physical copy of it. Now this game is the remake of an arcade style on the rail shooter. And it's actually one I did a full playthrough for on stream and once again I'll be linking that down below. And I've got to say, before picking this one up, definitely check out that stream because there are a few issues you really need to know about this game. Because although the remake is really well done, there is a serious challenge here, which is the control system in trying to use the Joy-Cons for that motion control shooting. This was originally a game designed for light guns, and unfortunately, motion controls don't exactly replicate that. However, there are quite a few adjustment options to help you overcome those issues. And also, the developer is seriously patching the game on a regular basis and they're getting better and better. However, even with all those issues, if you're looking for a great nostalgic arcade-like experience, I really think it's worth the $20 investment. However, at the same time, do be careful because if you're the type of person who will get frustrated at having to readjust the motion controls, well then this game just might not be for you. However, in my book, this game is an amazing pickup for this week. So now it's time for today's sizzle reel of deals, and there are some really great games there. Make sure you check it out.
So we're now at the end of today's video, and I want to hear from all of you. Let me know what games you're picking up in the comments down below. Also, I really want to take a couple of seconds to thank the channel supporters. Their monthly support is just so appreciated. And on the way out, don't forget that if you did like the content, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and click on the notification bell so you know when all my future content comes out. And as usual, I hope I'll see you in my next video.